Hello, dear friends. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the Majestic Family Channel. Uh -huh. My name is Jory, and this is my lovely wife, Viname or V. Make sure you've subscribed to the channel and comment down below so we can stay in touch. Don't forget to like, share, turn on your notification bell. So, so you know when a new video comes out. Thank you. Okay. Today, Today. we are talking about Meghan and Harry and their interview with Oprah. The infamous interview. <laughs> infamous. <laughs> uh, Harry and Meghan sat down with Oprah for a world famous or infamous interview mm -hmm. um, talking about their lives uh, together uh, from the beginning uh, when they started dating all the way through marriage and mm -hmm. uh, having their child and then even on to the next one. Mm -hmm. um, and they're, as it relates to their experience with the royal family. Mm -hmm. um, and wow, that was very emotional. <laughs> uh, it was very eye-opening. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was, it was uh, interesting, to say the least. So yeah, for you guys who haven't watched it, that's kind of what we're going to be talking about today. Uh, if you want to go watch the interview first and then right. come get our um, reaction. But first, we're going to give you guys our, our thoughts. Yeah, our thoughts on, our thoughts. on it. Yeah. So, what do you think, <laughs> honey? Um, wow, there was a mix of emotions that mm -hmm. I had. Yeah. Not just because they're an interracial couple. Shout out to you, Megan and yes. Harry. Oh, <laughs> um, but just that uh, yeah, it was a lot I don't know what to say. Like <laughs> it was just a lot to take in. It was, yeah. Um you could almost feel some of the pain and some of the mm -hmm, struggle mm -hmm. um that went on. Uh mm -hmm. you know Harry's so different from his brother, William. Mm -hmm. uh, he was always kind of a free spirit and, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know, just happy and, and, you know, what was a little more free to kind of be himself, it seemed like, growing up. Uh, I think because he knew he would not be king. He wasn't so it, next in line to the yeah, throne. Yeah, so like it gave him that relief to like yeah. just live life a little bit. Not, right. not like you and I, of course, but right. just like different from his, you know, his dad who's you know, next in line too, and then... Right, um, very stoic. And, right. Yeah, and and like he's, I think he's always kind of been really liked by the people mm -hmm. because he's very personable. Yeah. People can relate to him. Right. He wasn't like perfect. Mm -hmm. He was a great guy, but he wasn't perfect, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then along comes this beautiful American girl mm -hmm. um, in Megan, and the people love her too. Mm -hmm. And so, like, what a great, you know, couple in addition to the royal family yeah. that they made. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I, I, I feel I feel like if I say I can identify, people will be like, what? You were right, mistreated? Right. So, like... I think we, we, we are able to empathize in that we're a mixed race couple and a mixed family. Uh -huh. um, and so hearing... And, you know, we've heard stories or know people that have encountered some really rough things. And yeah. we've encountered a little bit, not, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, a little bit is an understatement. But, yeah. Yeah, but, um, <laughs> so, like, we can empathize with them, for yeah. sure. We can we can kind of feel, and, and mind you, like, we're not in the royal family. Right. The British royal family. Right. We're part of the majestic family. I know, that's right. Oh, that was... <laughs> oh, wait, we can't preach. We can't preach. <laughs> but... But just like it feels, it feels like it's similar to, I don't know, to what, what some, some of the things we walked through. Just the yeah. feelings that they express. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes, like yes, yes, yes. Uh, that alone. So let me, let me share one thing. So they referenced their South Pacific tour mm -hmm. and that they felt a shift in the family yep. after that South Pacific tour. They visited Australia, New Zealand, Fiji, and Togo. Mm -hmm. They made 76 stops in 16 days. That's ridiculous. And they killed it. Yeah. I mean, the people absolutely loved Megan. Mm -hmm. Like, and, and and to the point that they said it was reminiscent of Princess Diana. Oh. Back when she used to. Oh. And, and in fact, they, they even paralleled it with her trip to Australia 35 mm -hmm. years ago. Um, that was a setup. And and the fact that she had kind of eclipsed I might say the name's wrong now. Go ahead. Who was she married to? <laughs> Harry? Oh oh uh Charles. Charles. 
Diana was married yeah. to Charles. So yes, yeah, yes, yes. so she had almost eclipsed him in her right. popularity popularity among the people and right. her ability to relate well. And right. She carried herself really well, and Meghan did the same thing, if not more. I mm -hmm. want to be careful what I say, but mm -hmm. won the people's hearts. Mm -hmm. um, I know my mom loved Princess Diana, mm -hmm. and so there, there was this something about her that people really liked. Not yeah. only was she royal, she was also likable and relatable. Yeah. So this happened during Harry and Meghan's trip mm -hmm. to Australia and the islands um, down there in the South Pacific. Um, it was fantastic for them. They were loved by the people and did a great job. Mm -hmm. um, she carried herself with poise and, and with dignity and with honor and respect and love and just in great ways. Mm -hmm. And I think... Let's, we going to okay, get into that. Okay. So, <laughs> so, so you would think that you know, the royal family would look at that as like, wow, what a great PR couple for our royal family. Yes. We can send them out. They're yes. making good impressions everywhere yes. they go. What great yes. ambassadors. Right. Yeah. And she can reach some of the people we're unable to reach. Yeah, and relate to. And yeah. relate to. Yep. Um, and now, I remember when they got uh, married, um, like being able to tell Bella, look, it's a yes. mixed girl Here's that looks like you. Princess. Mary, yes, yes. You know what I mean? Who's married into or the royal? It's a, like a duchess. Yeah, yeah. yes. It doesn't yeah. matter. She, yeah, she's if royal. If you are the yeah. child of the king, you are royal. You're honey. already royal. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I remember just feeling that and being able to show my daughter something like, mm -hmm. look. Um, yeah. And now Camilla Harris, and you know, as vice, vice president, president, it's yeah. just like my mind is blown. Yeah. Um, so it, it was. I was hopeful. But were you surprised at what she described? How the the change. experience she's faced because she's of a different skin tan? <laughs> um, <laughs> yes and no. Okay. I would I would think that in their like respectfulness and honor and you know the way the royal family portrays themselves to love people and things mm -hmm. that that they would show great respect for her. Yeah. And that would bridge any gap, whether it be skin tone or ethnicity or anything. Mm -hmm. uh, and yet, I'm well aware what lies beneath. Wow. So, you hear that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm disappointed, but I can't say that I'm altogether surprised. Yeah. I'm not surprised either. Especially so. like when she, on the interview, she just kind of bared everything out. Like, Let's take, for instance, the um, the inc incidents you mentioned between her and Kate, where the oh, yes. media were saying that she made Kate cry, right. and she clarified, over wedding, over yeah, wedding yeah. Issues. her wedding. Yeah, let Megan's me not, own wedding. Uh, let yeah. me not even touch on that. Let somebody else get involved in changing <laughs> your wedding. Yeah. <laughs> or even feeling like they're entitled to right. something, but right. I don't know what happened, but um, it made her cry, but somehow the media portrayed it or only stated that um, it was in fact Megan who made uh, Kate cry. Right, it was flipped but completely. But for sure, yeah. Megan is the one that cried. Now, am I saying that there is a, there's not a possibility that they both could have cried? I'm not saying that. Right. If there were, the media didn't relate that. If there was an instance where they both cried, the media didn't relate that. Mm -hmm. I feel like in that instance, it totally vilified Megan, Megan. Uh, yeah. to yeah. make her come across like she's the aggressor, and mm -hmm. um, that is and that is so like common it is. with yeah. a black typical. woman. It's um, typical. Yeah. It, 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 I'm not surprised by right. how they're trying Angry to portray her. Woman. Yeah, right. unforgiving. She's right. she's bitter or whatever right. the case. You know might what's be. really yeah. sad about that yeah. is that it's such an easy target because it's been done so, so much, much. Yeah. that it's like really. Yeah. Real, just because you can, you, you do that. You do that, yeah. Instead of taking the high road and doing the right thing. Yeah. One thing that really struck me was mm -hmm. when Megan said, you know what I'm, you know, mm -hmm. what I'm, when Megan said she didn't understand how the royal family and the firm could lie to protect certain people, but couldn't tell the truth, tell the truth. to protect her. Yeah. It's like, what, what is that? Mm -hmm. And it, that is so crazy, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I just feel like this couple... I'm, my hat's off to Harry, you know, yeah. in, like that he's, I, I don't know whether right or wrong, but that his heart motive seems to be he's going to protect his wife and, that's and, what it should and be. his family. Yeah. And like the, the young man saw his mother die over craziness 
he's not he's not about to let his wife go through anything. You know what I mean? So we not saying we not saying any foul plays happen. No, but, well, well, I mean, yeah, yeah, there was definitely some media things and yeah. and pressure from who knows where with yeah. that whole thing. But yeah, he's cautious. You know, he I feel like he wants to protect her and make sure she's okay and. And if that means leaving the royal family and, and living a quieter life, you know, to protect her, then mm -hmm. he's willing to do that. Ones know? where she can still make her own decision mm -hmm. and things like that. And yeah. that was another thing that kind of surprised me was that, like she said, she walked into this family naively. Mm -hmm. Like, it's always, first, there's an embrace. Um, mm -hmm. Where you just right. seem like, oh, right. they're all loving. Initially, and then, they were. Yeah, and then, yeah. like, you start you know, finding all these things out. Right. And something she told Oprah, I'm not sure if it was in, the, I don't think it was in the interview. Um, I want to make sure I'm not mixing up some things, but okay. where she said that at the wedding, um, she told Oprah the advice she had been given was to um, be 50% of herself. <laughs> oh, oh, How oh. can anybody wow. be 50% of themselves? Like... If that's not overt, an overt attempt to stifle, mm -hmm. you know, the the color that's in her, like, yeah. I don't know what is. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's disappointing. It's disappointing that somehow we equate proper and dignified and royal with white skin. And maybe I'm not supposed to say that, but it's disappointing, isn't it? Yeah, and I think the church has played a major part in it. Yeah. When you bring white Jesus to yeah, Africa. I mean, we could get into a lot of stuff. That is a whole nother thing. Oh, Lord. Lot. Let's keep Yeah, let's stay focused. on track because we will. <laughs> hey, Jesus. <laughs> yep. <laughs> We've had long talks about We've had things. long conversations. Um, But yeah, so that kind of, that was surprising to me that that was someone gave her that advice. That right. That's sad. It is, yeah. Uh, another one was that someone there were talks about the child's skin color and right. you know complexion and stuff okay even if that person meant no harm by it um why is someone's why is a certain color considered a concern or being why? concerned <laughs> right. like what? why is it brought up as a focal point right if it's not an issue if it's not an issue yeah. so like that's one thing i'm not hearing people saying right even if they did not mean it in the way you know black people perceive it right most um why is it the focus <laughs> it should not be an issue oh um yeah it's it's been a lot to watch. It has, yeah. And I've I've kind of tuned out. I've had people ask me our take because obviously we're an interracial right. couple. Um, this racial stuff, like I've come to just like I'm over it mm -hmm. because I've come to a place of understanding that racial or anything ism is not going to be or eradicated. Eradicated, yeah. Um, before Yeshua returns. Right. Because it, not everybody's going to be saved. It's right. a heart condition. Right. That's the key. Like yeah. when we cannot legislate away yeah. heart issues. Yeah. Each person is responsible and mm -hmm. accountable for their own actions and heart attitudes. It says man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Mm -hmm. So the really the only answer to treating each other well is Jesus, mm -hmm. is Yeshua Messiah. And you so, can't say you love Jesus, but you treat somebody yeah, else with, yeah, I just you know, partiality. About that. Like, yeah. nah, bro, I don't know what Jesus you serve. It, right. it ain't the same Jesus as Joseph, right. and, right. you know. But it's not the, you know, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I don't know what Jesus you're serving. And I think what's sad, the saddest part for me is like trying to destroy somebody else's image mm -hmm. or reputation just so you can come out clean in this life. Right, right. In this life. That's so futile. Yeah. Yeah. Because you might trick men, mm. but people are forgetting like, there's there's a judgment day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. God sees it all. Yeah. Like, you can't, you can't withhold your heart from God. 
you can withhold your heart for from men because you know we don't know your right. motives and what mm -hmm. you're thinking and things like that but god does he does yeah. yeah was it jealousy or was it the ism word seemed like that uh megan and harry noticed a change after their trip to australia to yeah. the south pacific mm -hmm. and uh they saw a shift so because of the popularity that they were receiving it seems evident that there was jealousy there um I, that doesn't make sense to me. I mean, it does, but it doesn't. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think that like someone who's unpopular or not unpopular, but less popular becomes more popular by crushing someone who's popular. Right. That doesn't work. That's that's <laughs> foolish. Like, exactly. Uh, I don't know. It's just it's not a it's not a reality. Mm -hmm. um, really embracing them and and showing them. Kindness would be the only way to to do well. Mm -hmm. So I mean, Megan, I mean, with poise, like I, when I heard seventy six stops in sixteen days. Oh, that's a lot. I mean, you do the math. Again, it's a heart issue. Right. Like if you feel like you need to um, break or turn off somebody else's light, mm -hmm. just so you can. So be that yours looks seen. brighter. Yeah, yeah. I think. It's a heart issue. That's right. why we need Jesus, y'all, right. like for real. Right. But jealousy can make people do some crazy, crazy. stuff. Yeah, crazy like things. Yep. I've seen it. Mm -hmm. I've read about it. Look at the Bible. Look, Look at Joseph, at Joseph. Yeah. and how his world was turned over jealousy. Right. Like, right. and the media does not help. Like when they put Megan and Kate, Megan and Kate against right. each other. Right. And I love what she said in the interview. Just because you like me, it doesn't mean you have to hate her. You know what I mean? Just the uh, idea. I've always disliked the idea that success for me mm -hmm. means failure, failure for you. Failure for you. Yeah. No, there's enough success for everyone. Mm -hmm. That that's true. Like, uh, at least like in America or in many in many spheres. Right. Uh, I would say more America. Yeah. yeah or mm -hmm. Europe or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, but I'm saying if you're if you're in a similar playing field, mm -hmm. um, in the same game, you know, just because I'm doing well doesn't mean I need to keep someone else from doing well because right. what I have might be taken. Right. No, no, it doesn't work that way. That's mm -hmm. a that's a really poor mindset. Yeah, it's a it's a heart issue and it's a it's a trust issue. Yeah. Do you believe what God has yeah. said is for you is for you? Right. Like. And that's the key. You have. Yeah. And this is where it comes down to, like, mm -hmm. our belief. So right. do we think it was uh, jealousy or the ism word? Um, I think it was both. Mm -hmm. I think I think I, it, agree. I think it was triggered by jealousy. Yeah. And then um, and then this ugly thing came, came out. out. Yeah. This this, um, you know, dislike of a certain color skin. Mm -hmm. I think what happened with the popularity that Megan was receiving with the, you know, acclaim and praise or whatever, mm -hmm. the, the, you know, she was doing well. I think that caused something to rise up, some jealousy to rise up. And then maybe to think, well, why should she have that? She's mixed, right. you know, she right. comes from black folks right you know, or she's like, not going to be the next right like or queen. she's not next in line she right. doesn't deserve she doesn't that. deserve that she's yeah. just an american whatever yeah when really i mean she worked so hard and tried so hard and jumped through every hoop mm -hmm. and it still wasn't enough it's know? never going to it's, be enough. it never is no. and and that's why i say like my hat's off to harry for for not giving into the pressure yeah. of the firm and the royal family mm -hmm. and being willing to say i'm going to do whatever it takes to make sure that this is okay is okay yeah yeah and sometimes it means you know you got to say bye to a certain people yeah. for for a little bit right. until you know they get their stuff together um mm -hmm. and that's another thing like we discuss because time does not heal things who said that someone said it did harry call it out and he said time doesn't heal all things I don't remember who said it. Somebody no, said. I think he might have said oh, okay. time might heal all things. No, right. I can't remember. It's been like a week now. <laughs> right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. But actually, that's not true. That's not true. <laughs> uh, time with action yeah. <laughs> and Jesus yeah. heal. will heal things right. over time. But like 
when you go to your corner, I go to my corner. I'm not boo boo. Until we work it out, until right. we talk about right. it. It takes like, humility. Oh, yeah. It takes both sides being willing to say, yeah, that was my part. Yeah, yeah. I can see how you yeah. got that. Yeah. Yeah. Both sides. Yeah. And, and, and to be able to, to say, you know what? The relationship is more, more important, important mm -hmm. than me looking right. Looking. Yeah. Um, looking. So the appearance <laughs> of relationship yeah is not nearly as important as real relationship real yeah. and real relationship uh deals with problems yeah. it doesn't glaze over them or not talk about them yeah yeah like yeah you don't want to keep bringing it up but if something was never solved mm -hmm. then you cannot expect someone to move on that's right. just unrealistic right. expectations people yeah and there's this weird paradigm where instead of fixing the problem because it may mean that some of the royals might look bad and it's all about appearance they just scapegoated everything it yeah. seems like onto harry and Meghan, and it's like let's just tarnish them mm -hmm. so that we don't have to deal with the problems between mm -hmm. and that way that problem goes away and we can all look peachy keen yeah and, and I mean, that is extremely hurtful yeah follow up on what you said about appearing mm -hmm. like when she went for help to ask for help right. for her mental state right. like it was like she said it was getting to be too much yeah like she's never experienced anything like this it was right. like oh that won't look right yeah. I mean like what <laughs> is this thing about looking right like yeah that I'm not perfect he's not perfect you're right. not perfect right so we know the royals aren't perfect because they're human right we know megan and harry aren't perfect because right. they're human so but somehow and yet somehow they try to maintain that look i don't understand yeah. that it, it reminds me foolishness uh, the appearance is so much more important than what really is like yeah. that megan was told it doesn't matter if you fall apart <laughs> and end up in a mental oh hospital or worse because she felt suicidal yeah it doesn't matter to them what matters is the appearance of the family yeah uh, the appearance and that makes me so sick it's sad yeah it's sad that someone could life could have been lost over appearance right that is yeah it's not worth this it. i told ben may i think that in in many ways and i may be wrong because I don't see the whole picture. Yeah. Ben May always says, you know, there's three stories. There's your story, my story, and God's story. Mm -hmm. He sees everything. So we only, you know, may only be seeing part of the story, but it seems like the royal family was given this great opportunity yeah. in Meghan and Harry. Yeah. An opportunity to change a little with the times, um, to, to be able to relate to more a global uh, group of people, to where the royals could become popular with many maybe everyone mm -hmm. and and they had such a great spokesperson in Megan I mean Harry was already loved by many people mm -hmm. so what a great couple to help transition into a new phase mm -hmm. uh, and yet that's not what happened and it's just so sad I feel like an opportunity was missed there yeah because people have always loved oh the royal family mm -hmm. you know this idea of royalty still exists I don't get it but no, yeah sure <laughs> they don't I mean they don't control you know houses of parliament or they yeah, don't, yeah, yeah. they don't really have the, the kind of power you'd expect from royalty yeah. but but just it was fun and, and interesting and a nice image but mm -hmm. But when the image becomes so fake, it's just an image. It's, I mean, what's the point anymore? And I think in attempting to, to hold on so tightly to their image, they may end up breaking, breaking. it in the process. But which is good, because then the Lord can work. Maybe that Maybe. leads us to our our <laughs> closing topic. Yes, yes. Which was we've been hearing this comment a lot. Were Megan and Harry right in their decision to leave or to talk. you know talk about openly right. about the family business right uh, honey what what are your thoughts on that so we've talked about this a little bit mm -hmm. and uh, for us it comes down to whether they know Messiah or not mm -hmm. because for us um, the Lord asks believers to turn the other cheek um, uh, you know not to seek our own in things and so, you know, as believers, we would, you know, our reputation or, you know, being right 
isn't as important as the kingdom mm -hmm. and as God's plans mm -hmm. and as reaching those who need a Messiah more than anything. Mm -hmm. So we may have responded a little differently in our own lives. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, so. But. Yes, go ahead. I don't know that they, they may know Messiah. It, it doesn't seem very vocal if they do. I don't know if, yeah, we yeah. don't know if they So I don't Christ know. I can't not. speak yeah, yeah. to it. But if they don't, I certainly can't hold them to that standard. Right. Um, believers hold each other to a to a standard, you know. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I I think that there's probably an element there where, for the sake of Megan's health and maybe Harry's as well and the kids, they felt they needed to at least share their own experience, mm -hmm. um, so that they could find some sense of freedom there. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't know the whole story, so I, it's to, hard for me to say right or wrong. Or to at least for them to um, give back what they believe was being taken, her yeah. identity, like, right. and being labeled right. as a bully or as like, mm -hmm. you know, a mean girl or whatever right. she was being labeled, uh, the aggressor. Um, so yeah, uh, initially I thought, wow, I'm struggling with that question. I mean, I struggled. <laughs> And it just hit me. I'm like, why do we have a tendency as Christians to expect the same level of response to things from non-believers? Right. If there are non-believers, oh, go ahead. Tell your business. Tell whatever <laughs> you want, honey. You can tell some more stuff. But if you are a believer, mm -hmm. um, then yeah, the expectation is different because the word talks about how when Jesus was uh, ridiculed or um, what's the word? Revile, reviled, revile. Yeah. He did not return revile, but mm -hmm. he committed himself to God, who it, who judges righteously. Mm -hmm. So um, I would I would advise that to Megan and uh, Harry if they are believers, um, right? Um, not to stay in the situation. They can they could have removed their situation yeah. without you know putting everything out there as a Christian. So yeah, I think. Again, that was kind of hard. Yeah. So if you guys would enjoy seeing uh, us talk any more about this or take yeah. this from a different angle mm -hmm. or something you'd like to hear, let us know in the comments. Uh, we're open to talk about it a little more. Mm -hmm. uh, if there's something you would like us to address. Yeah. So. Did you, have you ever experienced anything like this for yourself? So, yes. Okay. Yes. We've definitely experienced this. Yeah. Not to the same magnitude, I guess. Well, no. I mean, we're not, we're not world-renowned yeah we're not known across the globe mm -hmm. um but definitely we've seen yes you know bits and pieces of yeah. things here and there yeah. but yeah thank you guys so much for watching <laughs> and with that dear friends keep, keep looking, looking up, up.